Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chess Points. Today we are going to look at the next topic that is the opening for white Sicilian defense and we are going to do an introductory chapter lesson to the dragon variation. Let us see what is Sicilian defense. It is one of the most popular openings. Black tries to create asymmetry with the move c5. The reason this opening is very popular is that black is not playing the same way as white does. Like black is not playing e5, he is playing the other pawn and controlling the d4 square. So black wants to control the center from the side and his main idea involves in opening the c5 for his rook on 8. It comes to c8 very early in many lines. So, the development of the queen side will usually happen faster depending on which Sicilian black is choosing. So there are around 9 Sicilians when we play the open Sicilian as white. So today is an introductory lesson. We are going to discuss what is open Sicilian, what is the main line of Sicilian. So now the fight is going on the square d4. Black says I will take on d4 and I will try to activate my queen side quickly. White says, okay, when I get d4, my knight will be centralized from the d4 square, my pieces will be in the center. So, black will spend some pawn moves before developing the pieces and white will occupy the center with his pieces, which gives him, in most cases, various ways to create inside attack. So, white's most popular move, nf3, d6, here, the move nc6, e6, d6. These are all playable. Of course, nf6 right now allows e5. So hence black plays the move d6 so that after nf6, e5 cannot attack the knight. Pawn can take the pawn. So here white plays the move d4. <coughs> this is the starting position of the open Sicilian. This is called open Sicilian because as we can see the center will be opened now. Black wants to take cd4 as I told you. White already threatens dc, dc, queen d8 check. So c into d4, knight into d4. Queen into d4 is an interesting alternative. After nc6, white can play b5. That takes us to totally different kind of positions. Here black usually goes for the move nf6 the most popular move and the main line if black is not playing nc nf6 it is said that after any move like nc6 or e6 white plays the move c4 and then after nf6 gets nc3 <coughs> this position is called marokzi bind there was a player grandmaster named marokzi White gets bind on the d5 square. Black's main plan is to get the move d5 after completing development. But because of his nc6 move order, we can say which is slightly faulty. So Black's main breaks, the d5 or a6 b5, both are stopped by this setup. Okay. So it creates a bind on the d5 and b5 squares. Hence the name Marokzi bind. Hence the move NC, nf6 immediately forcing nc3. Now the point is that if white protects the pawn in any other way, let's say f3. Okay, right now f3 is a bit premature, white has not developed enough. Many a times black attacks e5 and after the knight moves to b3, black gets d5. So this e5 is only good if black is able to get d5 quickly. Otherwise the f8 bishop would be stuck very badly. And now we see after ed, qd5 or even after nd5 this position is already slightly better for black queen d5 nd5 black has better center okay good pieces open bishops f3 is misplaced and black is slightly better after nf6 knight goes to c3 most natural move development with support and white is ready to take his pieces to various ways, he can develop the pieces in various ways. Uh, so today we are going to discuss the Sicilian dragon. Here many Sicilians are possible. G6 is the starting position of the Sicilian dragon. It is said that this pawn structure 
resembles the tail of the dragon hence the name sicilian dragon okay other than that here there is the move mc6 this is called classical sicilian if e6 is played and then a6 it is called scavenger sicilian if a6 followed by e5 is played then it is called sicilian nashdorf so this sicilians are possible from the d6 move order <clears throat> there are some others possible from the second move and c6 two or three of them and from e6 also there are two or three sicilians possible with the second move e6 so i will be covering all the sicilians so today we are going to look at the move g6 which is the sicilian dragon the main plan is to bring the bishop to g7 so after g7 castle black wants to bear the bishop on this diagonal usually white does long castle so the bishop will attack till the square d2 black continues in c6 and breaks the center by the move d5 so this is one of the main and simple plan for black which is aiming at this white notices two problems with the move g6 one in order to develop the bishop black is spending two moves g6 and g7 and secondly when the bishop comes to g7 he wants to trade this bishop see in the absence of this bishop he notices after this trade the square x6 and f6 both will become weak and the queen will get access to the h6 square especially when white plays h4 h5 and opens the h5 so if you assume this castled position we see that the queen will come to the h6 square and white's attacking chances will become very very strong over there so seeing these two problems prepares for the exchange of the dark squared bishop with the move bishop e3 so the idea is simple he will go qd to f3 castle and then bishop h6 followed by h4 h5 of course i will elaborate what is the right move order and all so first trap black wants to trade this knight for the bishop here so he can consider the move knight g4 which should not be allowed generally because once the bishop is traded for the knight then we see that after bg7 castle even if the queen comes to say after opening the h file to h2 square see hg hg if we get even this position after the move rook e8 it's not possible to checkmate the black king after queen h7 king f8 it's very difficult to checkmate do note that i have made so many moves for white and black has not done much still white is unable to checkmate the black king okay so the absence of the g7 bishop is very important for white's attack far more easier to deflect the knight on f6 than the g7 bishop so after b3 this is the first trap if black tries to take the bishop with the knight on g4 then bb5 check but is using his extra development note that white already had three developments for one move was his so of course the combination was bound to happen now after bd7 queen into g4 and the pc is lost note that the d7 bishop is pinned similarly after knight d7 also the bishop support to the knight is blocked and the queen takes g4 and after the move nc6 white is okay to give up the knight for the bishop because he is going to get some extra material on the other side so after knight c6 b6 bishop c6 check bishop d7 bishop into a8 now black can try to snatch the bishop knight e3 not allowing bd4 to escape the white bishop from the trade with the knight so f3 and now after the move queen a white will say well i don't need to castle long i will just castle short get the rook on the open file next move go queen d5 trade the queens it will be double attack queen d5 attacks f7 and a8 and once the queens are traded white will win easily with exchange and pawn up position okay so these double pawns are somewhat weak but they cannot be taken by force white can support with rook f3 or king f2 whenever required so this position is winning for white so the move ng4 happens to be a plunder let's go to the menu after the move bishop e3 black goes bg7 now the king has got place on f8 
so white usually does the move f3 stop the move knight g4 permanently f3 has two more ideas one it protects the pawn on e4 and it helps to prepare the move g4 g4 is going to be one of the main ideas after getting h4 h5 opening the h5 whenever knight takes on h5 we are going to use the move g4 today i am going to show you how white's attack works smoothly if black is not playing properly or not paying proper attention to white's threats okay so after f3 castle queen d2 knight c6 and we are going to cover the move long castle so this is a vast opening called the yugoslav attack there are three versions of yugoslav attack we are doing the move knight long castle in yugoslav attack other two moves are <coughs> yugoslav c4 and there is the move g4 also played by anatoly karpov in some games some positional ideas are there basically black wants to play d5 and white is trying to stop the move d5 so long castle brings control on the d5 square same bishop c4 also stops the move d5 and g4 also stops the move d5 so after g4 main idea is if d5 then g5 knight has to move and the pawn on d5 will be lost okay so so long castle also brings more attacks on d5 so one of the idea is after d5 knight c6 b c and then we see that four attacks on the d5 square and what we will see that the supports are only three four attacks three supports the pawn can be taken but this is a very famous gambit it's called the d5 gambit black can give up the d5 pawn and generate play so we should know how to handle this position of course i will cover this line also i will cover all the variations so that we are able to play this in tournament games as white so today we will see what are the ideas that white has based on the move h4 h5 so the main moves here are one is nd4 black wants to play nd4 deflect this bishop from the diagonal okay c1 h6 and after bd4 do note that after qd4 this knight will move to g4 bishop attacks the queen and the important e3 bishop will be taken by the knight and then black's attack will be very strong see after qd2 knight e3 queen e3 queen goes to a5 bishop comes to e6 and rook comes to c8 and there will be immense pressure on the c3 square so bd4 is forced and here black usually goes for the move bishop e6 this happens to be one of the main plans for black this i will be covering in the next lesson of the uh, sicilian dragon today let me show you what happens if black just plays casually he develops bd7 rook c8 then this knight comes from e5 to c4 this is one of the blacks uh, what we can say standard plans knight wants to come from e5 to c4 attack both bishop and queen and force bishop into c4 when the c8 rook comes to c4 and he doubles on the c5 he brings the other rook queen comes to a5 rook comes to c8 but this plan of bd7 is very slow and white attacks we can see that it begins very fast so white goes for the move h4 usually the plan is like this we go h4 first then b h6 and then h5 let's see black plays rook c8 now the move bishop h6 now here black can try to use some tactics based on the move md4 okay and now after bg7 many people try to win the pawn by the move knight f3 but this is a very very risky continuation because after gf3 we want this only we want the opening of the position and now black can white can consider the move e5 d clearing the d5 and after d go for the move h5 when knight cannot move because of queen into d7 and we will see that the file will be opened by force now see after h5 if black cannot take knight h5 because of qd7 then hg followed by qh6 check and lot of pressure on the d5 as well so this position will become winning for white now that white can consider the move direct h5 also when after knight h5 rook into h5 g h5 queen h5 that uh, queen g5 check that is also capable of offering 
very good play but it's not very clear whether it is winning at this point so after bishop h6 black usually goes knight f5 knight c4 or knight e5 knight c4 both the ways are possible now white plays h5 and we see that the attack has really become very strong do note that knight h5 loses in many ways but here we just have rook h5 g into h5 and queen g5 we see that all black pieces are on the other side of the board there is no defense to the mate on g7 which of is pinned and next move to g7 will be mate that takes b h6 here white can just play with rook on h6 and he will be piece up although b h6 q h6 will also give a winning position after g h we can use e5 followed by bd3 creating a mating attack on h7 <coughs> so now knight c4 attacking the queen so bishop takes c4 rook takes c4 and white is getting what he wants h into g6 now let me intro this is an introductory lesson so i must show you what happens to hg also after hg white mates by force after bishop into g7 king into g7 and queen at 6 check when after the move kg8 queen h8 is directly mate so this is the standard idea after hg the queen is going to enter the h6 square in most cases after h into g6 f into g6 is forced but so that the king has place on f7 but here after bg7 kg7 queen h6 check if king goes to g8 then we see that the knight on f6 is the defender move e5 and after d5 knight e6 and white wins instantly because bishop into e6 allows rook d8 and if queen moves then qg7 mates this idea of attack is very very common if we have this same position with the knight on e5 then we see that knight into h5 is a possibility because knight h5 rook h5 g h5 queen g5 then the e5 knight can enter the g6 square so same position instead of knight e5 if knight is on e5 and black takes knight h5 then there is a slightly different version bishop takes g7 now if knight takes g7 queen reaches h6 we reach the same position king g7 g4 attacking the knight knight has to move to f6 keeping h7 supported and now after queen h6 check kg8 and here the move nd5 very strong do note that g5 would have allowed knight to come to h5 okay but now after the move nd5 f6 is going to collapse and soon there will be mate on the h7 or g7 squares here it is force to stop the threat and f6 ef6 queen h7 mate so r8 force and after r8 it's white to play and win after the move g5 knight h5 force knight goes anywhere else then queen h7 queen h8 mates so rook into h5 g into h5 destroying the knight which was guarding f6 and now knight f6 check if king h8 then queen h7 mate and after ef6 gf6 the only way to stop the mate on g7 is the move queen into f6 when after queen f6 white wins the game so this is how the white's attack pans out if black is not playing carefully or black is not playing properly to know this uh, variation or these ideas which lead to the king side attack so that we are well prepared against a uh, upon an opponent who knows theory and who doesn't know the theory properly so our own concepts have to be very clear okay i hope you are enjoying these lessons do like share and subscribe the channel thanks for your time